offers you victory living through faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The powerfully anointed rich word of God is ministered both as Dr. Nelson declares, have faith in God. Let's listen attentively as we go into the service already in progress. To our friends in Radio Land, and to those of you who have made your way to this place of excellence, God's place, Bible Way Healing Assembly, here uh, at 4831 West Henrietta Road here in the town of Henrietta. Amen. Those of you that have come to worship God and to give God praise. To those of you that are walking along the street, some are riding in your car, some incarcerated, some are in other places of it, uh, it, um, restriction, such as the hospital and, and nursing homes and etc. We want you to know that we're here for you. For those of you that are home and can't get out, we are here for you. And we want you to know this, that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in this day. No one has to suffer and others are being healed. Uh, and nobody has to die before that time because life can be beautiful. Take Jesus for your partner. He'll make all of your plans so much larger. Praise the Lord. We want you to know that we are praying for you. We want you to know that we want to hear from you. If you uh, need prayer, this is the station. Hallelujah. Bible Way Healing Assembly, call us. We thank God for WDKX. Our medium of reaching people. Praise the Lord. We want you to know that we have many prayer requests. We have one uh, dear friend that passed away, Bishop Marion Marian Wright's wife, Sister Letha Wright in North Carolina. We have several others. We're praying for you. We're praying, we're praying, we're praying. We believe God for you. And we want you to know that you don't have to suffer. And others are being healed and you don't have to die before your time. To those of you that have uh, loved ones that has passed on, we want you to know that, yes, we cry. Yes, we miss them. But operation temporary. Then those of you that have trouble in your home. Trouble. Walking the floor, some people couldn't hardly go to sleep. Somebody don't know where the teenager is. Somebody don't know where the companion is. We want you to know that we're praying for you. It does not matter what the situation is. God's word says that he healeth all of our diseases. We believe God. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for the power that's in your great name. I take authority right now in the name of Jesus, of every demonic force that have come against the people of God. I command it to come out in Jesus' name. Father, right now, I speak healing and deliverance from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet. Thank you, Jesus, for healing them inside and out. Physically, mentally, spiritually. Physically, I mean everywhere. No matter what they say, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for sending your word and healing. We receive it by thank you by our mouths and putting our hands together. In Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, make it better than that. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's say together, this is my Bible. Be sure you have a Bible. This is the Word of God. God is Word of One. God is everything that my Bible said that He is. And God can do everything my Bible said He can do. I've come to hear the Word of God, say it, say it. And I declare that my mind is alert and prepared to receive the infallible Word of God. Because of the Word of God, I will never be the same again. Not ever, not ever, not ever. I'm saved. Healed, delivered. I glory to God and prosperity. I will not allow Satan to rob me of what God has given me. Will you tell somebody what that is? Because you are right. That's the beautiful truth. Amen. We have a text today. 
is found in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 55, 10 through 12. Man, come on, honey. This is the Lord's word. King James Version. For as the sun cometh down, and the snow from heaven, listen to the word, and runneth not hither, returneth not hither, but watereth the earth. Somebody turn that off, whatever. Turn your phone all the way up. And maketh it bring forth the, and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the Listen to the word. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void or empty. But it shall accomplish that which please and it shall ple that which I please, God said. And it shall prosper in the thing to I send it. My word will not return unto me for it. It will accomplish that I send it. It's going to accomplish what I send it to and I'm going to be pleased with it. And not only that, but my word is going to prosper what I send it to. Let me say amen. St. John 15 and 7. I want Jesus to talk to me. Have it say amen. And if ye do what? And do what? Let my word abide in you. Then what? You shall ask what you and it what happens so you may get it. It might come to pass. It shall be done. Let's say it again. If you abide in me, my words in you, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done to you. Subject today is the security and knowing God's word will come to pass. Anybody in here know it's going to come to pass? Anybody know that? That what God says is going to happen? You don't have to guess. You don't have to worry. What God says is coming to pass. Subtopic, it shall happen. God's word shall come to pass. Look at somebody say declare it. Look at somebody else and say, declare it. Yeah. Look at somebody and say, declare the word. Yeah. Because it shall come to pass. Can you say amen? Yeah. I don't know what you're praying for. I don't want you, don't want you believing. But if you get in that word, you'll be convinced it's coming to pass. I don't care what kind of fight you had. I had them too. I don't care how the Satan has discouraged you. He's tried the same thing with me. But I'm telling you right now, God's word. I'm not afraid to speak the word of God because it's coming to pass. If God said it, it's coming to pass. Can you say amen? You, some people say, if God said it, I believe it. If God said it, that some people say that. If God said it, I believe it. And that's that. No, 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 no. If God said it, that's that. Whether you believe it or not. If God said it, that's it. Whether you believe it. Tell somebody if God said it, that's it. Whether you believe it or not. If you take your seat, shout, I believe it. I believe it. Think about it. 
about what Satan's been trying to fight you and tell you God's not going to do. And because situation exists, you, the, the devil say, it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. Shout out of your Holy Ghost soul, it shall happen. I believe it. In 1 Timothy 4 and 13, Paul said, Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, and to the doctrine. What he means is simply read the word, explain the word, then apply the word. This is the whole duty of preaching. We need more expositional preaching. Because whether you know it or not, we live in an information age. Information, information, information. The Bible, brothers and sisters, is God in print. People don't tell you how you know God with the Bible. How do you know it's God? I'm not here to de debate God. I'm here to believe God. The Bible is God in print. God and His Word are what? One. So, the Word of God is not only inspirational or inspired the word of God sister Deborah is a practical manual on our human behavior you can say this the Bible tells us how to live how to conduct ourselves as mothers as fathers soul that sinneth shall die, he means it. When he said, come out from among them and be separated, I'll be your God, you'll be my people, he mean it. When he says, whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap, he means it. When he says, I'm leaving, but I'm coming again, he mean it. Jesus knew that the word of God was given to him to speak and he knew the word was full of life and as those words went forth from his mouth he knew that they would produce and fulfill every purpose God intended I don't care what it is the word of God is going to come true no matter what God does not play hide and go seek not 
doubt his word. Do you understand me? Jesus did not doubt the word. He knew every word was coming to pass. He said to his disciples, you do hear because you don't know the scripture. One of our scriptures there, he said, if you abide in me. I don't pray no the folk. I do all I can and God don't hear me. And I do this and I do right. No, no, no. No. He said, if you abide, stay in me. You know, we got some folks that lays their religion down. I'm not talking to you. Put it on the shelf, I'm not talking to you. He said, if you abide, that means stay. Stay in the word. Good or bad. Happy or sad. Like it or don't like it. Hurt or not hurt. Joyful or not joyful. Stay in the word. He knew that he had been commissioned, sent forth, and anointed by God to destroy the works of the devil. Everywhere that Jesus went, he encountered the works of the enemy. He confronted Satan and took the authority over him by speaking the word of God. Tell your neighbor, speak the word. Oh, come on, tell him, speak the word. Tell your neighbor, if you want the victory, you got to speak the word. But you can't speak what you don't know. The Bible, brothers and sisters, is the most dangerous weapon on the earth to the devil. Now what Jesus said is not one of my words are going to fail. You can cry. You can moan and complain. Satan going to be right there. You're going to stay depressed. You're going to go to sleep and wake up. You're still depressed. But somebody here that's ever used the word on the devil, tell me if you use the word, won't he flee? Tell me once you get delivered if you use the word of God. Tell me if you won't get victory. Somebody shout, speak the word. My first point is speak the word. Speaking the word is God's strategy. It will enable you, as it did Jesus, to do the be a mighty conqueror. You'll be able to enter into the devil's territory, face him head on, and destroy the strongholds. Come on, somebody. Anybody know what I'm talking about? The words that came from Jesus' mouth were powerful. They were lethal to the devil. Jesus confronted Satan and, de and defeated him. And I said defeated him. How did he do it? Through the word of God. He spoke the word of God. And when Jesus spoke the word of God, the devil flew. So you all that don't say the devil won't leave you alone, I just gave you a key. Speak the word. If you bother you, speak the word. If you can't sleep at night, speak the word. If you keep tormenting you that you're going to die like mom and dad and whatever because you got this and that, speak the word. I'm talking about speak the word. Jesus spoke and Satan fled. He spoke and the winds and the sea obeyed. It was so funny last Sunday. We had the, brought the, um, news come on and they forecast that that storm was coming to Rochester and that ice storm and how it you this and that and this and that and how bad it was going to be your local TV bullshit and I got a cousin down in Georgia did the same thing and I, I said I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to stand and stretch my and in Jesus' name, I stand on John 15 and 7. I abide in him. He abides in me. And I speak to this weather and say, skip Rochester and let us have church. Can somebody give God some praise? Tell somebody you got power. Speak the word. And in case somebody didn't come last week, we had good church. 
person that was waiting to see our church go on the, on the TV screen that closed is still waiting. Jesus spoke to the wind, and the wind obeyed, the sea obeyed. But he knew the word of God. He knew the integrity of the... This, Sister Bright, is what is wrong. People don't know the integrity of the word. Now, because your daddy left, or mama went on drugs, or grandma shot somebody, you don't have to do that. And you lost confidence in them. Don't imagine them with God. Because God is not a man that he should lie. Neither he's the son of man that he should repent. Has he promised and will do it? The devil is a liar. Everything that God promised is coming to pass in your life. Tell somebody, speak the word. Spoke the word, it came to pass, and you must speak the word. Speak the word over your life. Speak the word over your little boy. Speak the word over your little girl. Speak the word over your home. Speak the word over that alcoholic. Someone I forgot to pray for uh, that asked me to pray because a mother and a grandmother is dying now with cancer because she smoked all of her life and she's sick and still smoking. Do you know people need mentally healing? If you hear that the cancer will kill you and you still smoke, you need God's help. God spoke to me and said more people will die in 2018 than ever from cancer that caused by smoking. Not that you got from your mom and your granddad and them from smoking. Tell somebody, speak the word over your life. Speak the word over your situation. Speak the word over that habit that you can't break. Speak the word and tell it no weapon formed against me gonna prosper. I'm breaking this in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Said, so shall my word be that goeth out of my mouth. It shall accomplish that which I please. It shall not come back to me empty. God said, just like the rain come down. Just like I let the snow come down on the earth. And it, 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 it prepares the earth and make the earth a fruit, a, a fertile for the, the plants to come up, the trees, and when you plant your vegetable and etc. Just like I send the rain and the snow to prepare so that you can have food to eat, I want you to know that when I speak my word, my word is going to do the same thing. It's going to bring forth fruit. Anybody thank God for the word? Anybody thank God for the Bible? Tell, tell God I thank you for the word. I thank you for the word. He says, so shall my word be that go out of my mouth it shall accomplish say accomplish that that I set it out it shall prosper the thing can I show that to you not only did God heal my body of that disease heart disease 50 some years ago somewhere like 56 in there like that but not only that but at the age of just, what, a couple more months, three more months, I'll be 85 years old. He prospered my life. Come on, so I want to show you prosperity. Can nobody do you like Jesus? Can nobody bless you like Jesus? Can nobody help you like Jesus? Can nobody heed you like Jesus? You must know the integrity of the word. Understand that only God can say heaven and earth will pass away before one of my word pass away. You speak and obey the word of God. When people brought sick and dying to put to Jesus, Jesus didn't pray for a whole hour. Come on, somebody. He didn't go and say, Father, if it be your will, heal them. Why? Because he knew the will of God. Ask your neighbor, do you know the will of God? Do you know it's his will to destroy demons? Do you know it's his will to heal the sick? Do you know it's his will to get the devil out of your life? Somebody need to give God praise in here. Somebody need to know that his will to heal your body, to deliver your son and your daughter, to bring them home. Come on, somebody. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see saints' children getting saved right now. 
I see them people's children getting beat preachers. I see them coming in preaching. I see them coming in real fast. Come on, the saints man about getting ready. Come on, somebody. Cause they coming in, they coming in, they coming in. I speak the word of God. I speak the word of God. He said, your sons and daughters shall prophesy.